Hello from Slidenerd and hello from Weaves. What's up folks? In the last videos, we have been discussing about relative layout and discussing the different attributes. Here in this conclusive video about the discussion on relative layouts, let's see some more attributes and let me show you some examples. So here again, you have a rule, you have XML attribute. This does not take a true or false value. It instead takes the ID of some other view. Uh, we are going to see what that other view is all right and here are the java values if you want to make your relative layout in java code then these should be the constants that you should be using and they are inside the relative layout class the alignment between two different views that is what this set of rules is going to cover so if you see there's a line top line bottom left align right align baseline and these are the five values now what are these values going to do how they work we are going to see the, them with some examples so first what I have is I have this text view over here which says what the hell and there is a button right below it. Now if you see the code over here it looks pretty simple. I have the text view right. I have given it an ID saying at the rate ID my text. And then I have a layout width, layout height and the text is simply what the hell. And here for the text view I have simply said center in parent. Now if you guys remember from the first video about relative layouts. Center in parent is going to put this text view right at the center of the entire relative layout right. And text size and background doesn't matter. And now if you see the button, I simply have said that the button should appear below this text view by saying layout below, appear below whom? Well, the text view, right? ID slash my text. But if you look at this, this is not exactly what I want. What I actually want is something like this. The button and the text view should be aligned along the left side, right? For that, what I can do is I can make this button align with the left side of this text view and that is what align left actually does. So let us see how that attribute looks like. You have the same text view which code is unmodified but if you see the button over here I have simply said android layout align left equals to id my text. Now what this tells the button is hey button you should align your left edge with this guy and who is this guy id slash my text it is the text view right bam that's it simple to understand right. Now let's see some more examples to make you guys comfortable with this. Here again I have this text view again which says what the hell and there is this button at the top right and on the right side. Now let me actually show you the appearance for this. You have the text view over here and I have my wrap content what the hell text over here. It's center vertical in nature that is the text view. Now if you see the button the button has been programmed to appear on the right side of the text view. So here I simply say layout to the right of so the attribute is telling like hey I should appear to the right of this guy and which guy it's my text view right but this is not actually what I want what I want is something like this the top side of the button and the top side of the text view should align with each other so in short what I'll have to do is while keeping the button on the right side of the text view I'll have to align the top of the button with the top of the text view so the code looks something like this the text view remains the same as it is but if you see the button what I do is I say align top and telling the button that hey please align your top with this guy who's that guy id my text right so in short the top for both of them is aligned you can do the same with the bottom and you can do the same with the left and right all right now there is one more attribute which i need to discuss now remember this image because i'm going to talk about this image in the next slide same image which i was talking about in the last slide right if you see this this is actually looking pretty sluggish to be honest with you it doesn't look that good it's not professional looking what i want is i want something more like this now what is this? It's neither aligned top, it's neither aligned bottom. You can see that, right? The top is out of sync and so is the bottom. What this is, is something like this. If you guys notice, the text of this text view and the text of the button are on the same line. Now if you guys are from an HTML CSS background, you know very well that this line is actually called the baseline. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the same code, but here in the button, I'm going to say layout align baseline equals to id my text. Now what this tells is, hey button, your text should be aligned with the text of this guy which guy that is id my text that is my text view so in short both the text are on the same line and this is what gives a good appearance so i hope you guys have understood something about how relative layout work we have covered all possibilities of a relative layout in this vid in the next vid it's time to get our hands dirty we are going to design the facebook user interface for our mobile app using relative layouts so if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Have a nice day.